Hello, this is Alyssa, and today I'm going to be doing a video on figuring out the different types of killers in Modded Among Us. This is something you normally only get from experience, so I thought I'd share a lot of tips that uh, I would, I think I would find useful if I was starting out. Um, so let's get, let's get to it. This has been a very highly requested video. Uh, so the first type of killer is a warlock. The warlock is someone who can curse a player and then kill later. Where if you pr you curse some you curse a player, and then if you press kill and they're standing next to someone else, the person next to them dies, regardless of it's you, your partner, you, or just anyone random. So it kind of can look like a invisible killer because they kind of like just drop dead in front of you. So. What you want to look for is a body falling over in close proximity to other players. And also one of the things that I kind of tend to look for for the Warlocks is like a potentially a very long round and then a kill just kind of like falling over. Because it, sometimes it takes a while, like if you curse someone at the beginning of the game uh, and they just go off into the middle of nowhere and you're committed to doing a Warlock kill, uh, it can just take a while. <laughs> So here is an example of um, a time that I was cursed and I walk up to Cola and he just like dies on me. And went again. to uh, O2 after- Walks down, um, just dies on me. So this is what you kind of want to look for. Notice that I was also alone. Uh, warlock kills are more likely uh, to happen when you're alone than a shade kill. These can also be kind of confused for sheriff, but like these are like like looking at like first round kills, and like if you're not sus at all, then you probably shouldn't be considering sheriff if you're playing with uh, competent people in your lobby. Okay. Um. Let's go on to like counters for war Warlock. You always want to get clears for movement. The Warlock is rooted for a duration and cannot move after doing a Warlock kill. Uh, so you look for pure people standing still. Like if someone's doing, a, um, if you're being like, oh, who is clear for moving? Who is moving right now? They can't be the Warlock if there's a suspected Warlock kill. You also want to keep track of who's passing you after the Warlock cooldown, which is usually 25 to 30 seconds into the round. Um, you like, so a lot of people, when you as you're like, Oh, who did you pass this round? And they're like, Oh, I passed everyone at the beginning. And I'm like, I'm not asking about the beginning, I'm asking about 25 seconds into the round, which is actually tends to be uh, fewer people, which is why I always tend to look for long rounds for warlock kills as opposed to shade kills, which can look very similar to warlock kills, but there are a couple of differences. So, the shade is an invisible killer. Um, it kind of can look similar to a warlock where the kill is just happening uh, and you don't see a killer and it's just falling over. Um, you normally want to look for, uh, like, if you're not, if no one is next to the person when they're dying, more likely a shade and less desync. Always consider desync. Um, also, if it's a crowded area and it's like right after you fix lights, uh, very early into the round, probably a shade. Uh, that's kind of like the classic shade kill is to try to kill in between everyone at light. It's after lights get fixed uh, and try to potentially get it confused for a warlock. I think that uh, this has been kind of like a very common play. I'm going to go through some like kills that are I'm talking about. Pyro with shade. He was my imposter partner. Early round kill in electrical. Like this is being done like many, many times in bobsled now. Kind of like a classic kill now. Uh, most likely a shade, not a warlock. Just because of how many people are around and how short into the round it is. And the lights are on.
Another kind of example of shade kill is like, um, normally they'll hop in the electrical O2 area around a lot of people, like right after you fix lights or something. I was gonna play the meeting for this one. What the fuck? So quickly. Love is day. dead. <laughs> Love is dead. This is Already. WG. This this is why you shield uh, up the gecko. Okay, so I okay, to sum it up, this buddy is dead in O2 hallway. I walk past Alyssa and Chelsea. I get a report button not even a quarter of a second later. So oh. Alyssa, this is like I mean, we were walking why down. I... We were walking down from electrical together. Why, why, should, why should I not vote you right now? Because we were walking down from electrical together. Who else is there? That is not a clear, Alyssa. Yeah, oh, I know, that. but it's okay. a, probably I'm not, I'm a warlock or a shade. It's probably a shade. That's what it... Because it just, like, I here, didn't see... Alyssa, NWG. Alyssa, here's my prob here, Alyssa, here's my problem. You were closer to the body than I was, and you were standing okay. on it for a solid second before I reported it. Okay, so let's... How about we get clears NWD and we don't tunnel because there's a good chance that it's just a shade. Okay, okay. Uh, Shonzo, where did you end the run? Actually, it's not you on your admin. If you have yeah, who, who are the O2. O2. I'm in O2 down. I'm on the tree now. John's okay. Like Dawn. Who else? I was just on trash shoot, but I'm pretty sure I'm ending outside O2. Dawn's O2. Uh, and who else? I thought I, I saw finished, Mix in there. I just finished download on tree. Okay, duck. Okay. So, uh, I, Do you I see me on the download? Uh, no. I mean, I, I don't know how like shit just happens. To, like, it didn't, like, go off. Visible it's killer, like, uh, which is why the lights are on. Does shade show up in O2? Um, you might see, like, a black puddle. Where is Justice, by the way? Yeah, so I walked down with Shonzo. Um, I did my oh. download. I walked down, and I'm leaving. I'm almost inside weapons by now. Okay, if it if it is a shade, all of the people in O2 are clear, because I checked admin, and they were in there, and uh, they... All of the people in O2 um, stayed in O2 the whole time. I think it might be Justice. From the sound of it. So it actually was Justice. And uh, my theory was that they passed through O2. They put the shade puddle outside. And then they come back into O2 and kill. Which is exactly what they did. Unfortunately, I was not able to get venge vengeance. Because they juked me in Lord Deacon Tam. But... I was proud that I kind of called that out like right away. I recognize the situation because it just could be kind of a various amount of things. So the reason I was sussing uh, Shade over Warlock is just because how many people were in the area. Um, kind of the way we kind of moved down on over the body. It didn't really seem like they were kind of all walking together. And then it kind of seemed like came, someone came up and like killed versus like a Warlock kill. That kind of kind of take experience to kind of notice. But that's what I noticed. Um... And also just how many people were in the area. So, and then because, like, I knew it was shade, we can just, like, for shade kills, you just do uh, normal clears. So, Slog giving admin information that seems kind of accurate, probably clear, not 100% clear. Don, uh, Comrade can see each other, clear. And WG, clear. Uh, Duck, I think, was in O2, and then he's claiming to see Shonzo. I don't, I don't remember where Mix and Cassie are. But Justice was in the area. Justice is claiming to have just left the area. And uh, so that I thought they were a very good candidate for Shade because also, if you, you were on 2 10 tasks, you unlikely only just have to download in O2. Like, they want to get out and come back. Okay, so let's go to... Um, what you want to look for, like the counter for shade kills are, uh, um, you can just get clears for being unaccounted for just like a regular kill. Um, if it's like a bad shade kill and you can figure out it's a shade kill, these are going to be like really easy to vote out the shade because it's just regular process of elimination, similar to a vanilla kill, similar to like a morphine kill. Like if you know it's a morphine. So now that we talk about going to Morphling, I'm now going to bring up the concept of Bounty Hunter or Morphling. So Bounty Hunters are killers that get benefits from killing specific people. That benefit is reduced kill cooldown. So 
Uh, normally, like they can, they're normally looking for specific specific peoples because they want to like that's the whole pop point of the role. Um, you don't necessarily have to use it early, um, and it's better normally not to use it early because it's really a good late game role. But some bounty hunters are kind of committed to killing their bounties, uh, regardless. So, bounty hunters will tend to have. Uh, so and also, uh, this is why also the bounty hunter versus morphling thing comes in. If someone's doing like the worst kill in the world in front of you, and you're just like, "What is going on? Like, why would you kill this?" Mo- a good chance they're either this a mor- it's like a morphling of that person, or they're just like a bounty hunter and they got kind of greedy. So I always say like when someone's just like, "Why would they do this kill? They they have to be the bounty hunter." Um, ba- bounty hunter or morphling, morphling, uh if uh they are accounted for somewhere else or bounty hunter if they're not accounted for someone else yeah and then you can also look for like really weird bad movement like what the hell are they doing um also fast kills um so i'm gonna give you some examples of uh so this is something i actually kind of like figured out last week uh i think there is a I'm the bounty hunter and i really want to kill rue who's my bounty because i like to kill my bounty between um Okay, so I'm a, I don't want to kill in weapons. I don't like killing in weapons. Uh, it's too easily found on admin tables. I, 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 hate, I hate this role sometimes. Uh, seller rolls has bodies on admin table. We put them back in, even in the new version of Among Us, because we don't like that. They took them out. So I'm kind of just like waiting outside weapons for them to come out. I kind of gave up because the NWG walked in. I ended up getting a kill somewhere else. But the lurking outside weapons is something that... Um, that like I actually noticed like the other day and I think it actually the pattern with bounty hunters is like you're kind of like going to stalk your prey so you're going to have like kind of weird movement so like I noticed this in uh, a crew game on Thursday um what the hell yeah that was a movement sir what was that five up what the fuck was that like he I th- like it felt like he was kind of looking for like his bounty went into weapons and he was waiting for them to come out and stalking and playing vision. That was a movement, sir. What was that? I go into the safety of weapons because Five I don't want to get the killed. Fuck was that? Like, what the fuck was that? Otherwise, movie? they would have just like killed me <laughs> outside. If if, it, if they weren't bounty hunter, they were looking for someone specific. Okay, so normally the counter to bounty hunter is uh you want to vote them out early, just because like if they get to seven or four, they're gonna be very hard to deal with. Um, and in any like very competent bounty hunter, when you get to an, a later number, can just win off kills. Um, if it's a morphling, you just get standard morphling clears. I don't really want to go into that. That's pretty, like, uh, that's been, that's been, that's even in vanilla right now. So the next role is Undertaker. This is something I'm particularly good in figuring out. Um, it's because I always love Undertaker and I kind of see, I think, like, what would these people do that I would do? So normally the Undertaker is a role that can drag bodies. Uh, you can normally... Undertakers drag bodies into locations that are not often checked by crewmates, like left and right reactor, Death Valley, um, like potentially like below like the office, like water wheel. Um, yeah. So what you want to look for for an Undertaker, it's not like a movement thing. Well, you might see them lurking above storage and that's pretty sus. Uh, but when you are looking at, if you see kills are happening and you don't really see uh any anything that could possibly be a dead body on admin table like you see all the blips moving around uh there's a good chance that the body's dead outside and if it's been a long round it's most likely on left right reactor or death valley uh you can also kind of like sometimes you'll get the feeling that you people are killing getting killed like right behind you like you're like i just saw this person how could they be dead? Who would kill them when I just saw them in the area? Because they know I'm going to find that body immediately. So, uh, like, you'll see them. 
they'll die and then um the undertaker will drag them to a location that you're not going to really check uh like if you kill some like like if you saw someone in o2 you go to vitals they're dead uh i would check death valley because like the undertaker might have killed them behind you and just dragged them to death valley uh i'll kind of give you some examples of like the movement thing and the admin table thing that i'm talking about Okay, so I have no two, no dead bodies. Someone dead on admin. There's someone dead on vitals. Okay, we go. So we have one electrical, two O2, two specimen, three office. Uh, one of the O2 moves to electrical. Okay, now we have three electrical. Unlikely a dead body in electrical. Specimen blue moves out. We know the body is now outside based on looking at the admin table for a couple of seconds. Uh, we know there isn't any bodies in O2. Uh, there's no body in labs. And the, the people in specimen are moving. There could be a body in specimen hallway. But based on the admin table, very unlikely. So now um, we want to check areas outside. Um, so we want to check like... This is going to be very risky, but we're on we're still we're still on a very high number, so I feel more comfortable checking uh, when we're on a high number and we're not about to lose the kills. Otherwise, I would just button. But I would love to get confirmation that there might likely there is likely to be an undertaker. Okay, left right reactor clear. Just go through this valley. What in the fuck? Found oh. you, tell us. Where's that at? I checked right reactor, I checked left reactor, and it's just in Death Valley. Okay, because uh, hmm. I don't know if I'm reporting the same body. There's, I'm getting the body, like, I'm right underneath comms. Yeah. So, it's one thing that you can look for. Like, if you, I hopefully, um, let me know if you have any questions about that admin table movement. You'll usually, like, for Undertakers, you'll see no one on the map. Because if you're an Undertaker and you're killing on the map, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, and then here's another game when there's an Undertaker. Okay, go to Electrical with 19. And Pinky, Farrier in the area. Do some tasks. I should fast forward this, but uh, I don't want to be jumping around too much. Okay. Okay, 19 and Pinky were definitely in the electrical O2, O2 area. So I know where to look. I feel like unlikely they'd be killed like in the room, so I just go and check the valley right away. Find the body. Um, if you feel like bodies are getting killed behind you, especially in the electrical O2 area, uh, not necessarily in labs, not or specimen... Uh, maybe in office, in office, they could be dragged to, like, uh, like, the bookcase. Um, so you can check that, like, you might want to check there if it's an office, but most likely it'll be electrical O2 area. Um, like, if you feel like you saw someone on electrical download, you fix lights, and then you find out later it happened, like, right after you fix lights and right after you pass them, probably an undertaker, and they were just dragged to left reactor. Uh, Yeah. Well, that's kind of uh, kind of things I kind of go by. Um, what? Yeah, the counters for this is to look out in outside areas. Very dangerous. Uh, so I recommend this doing this only on like when there's a very few people dead. Um, and button if you get to like if you're on like if you start the round on like eight, 
or a seven, you definitely want to be buttoning and not looking for the body because you don't want them to win off kills. Like, I can get three kills easily in one round as Undertaker. So, Wraith is 2BD. Uh, we haven't, like, it's been very hard to suss out Wraith. Uh, but right now, we're at the point where not people, a lot of people don't really know the strength of the role. So, we're still kind of, like, learning uh, how to account for Wraith. Uh, and here's this flowchart I made. Um, so, like, kind of intend to, like, it's, I thought I'd try to, like, kind of go through some of my logic, just put it in, like, a flowchart. Uh, so if it's an old body, how old is the body? If it's old and where is the body? Uh, like, it, why is Quicks on right reactor? Probably an Undertaker. Um, if it's easily found, to TBD, kind of like a regular kill. Uh, how old is the body? If it's happening right now, you can see if you see the killer. If you see the killer, uh, and then a morphling bounty hunter, or they're like really, like really unlucky and they're just doing a bad kill for no reason. Uh or like because like normally morphlings will want to get seen bounty hunters will just be like taking risks and sometimes you're just like super unlucky um if you don't see a killer you think about are there a lot of people in the area if no most likely a warlock potentially a sheriff but i'm thinking early round kills when you're not sus um if there's a lot of people in the area then it could be uh, you kind of want to consider how long the round has been. If it's like been a really short round and it's happening off rip and electrical, uh, probably a shade. Um, if it's been a really long round, uh, probably a warlock. Um, one last thing that I don't think I, I played. Um, this is an example of like a warlock. Uh, like this is why I say it takes can take kind of a long time for a warlock kill to go through. Um, it's already been kind of a long round when I curse Gunner. I try to get a curse while they're on a task. Fortunately, they follow me into Specimen. If I kill now, I'll kill myself. So I'm... I like You have to kind of wait for a long round for Warlock because you want to make sure your target passes enough people that if they figure out it's a Warlock, it won't get narrowed down to just you. And they just keep running back and forth in specimen for like, and I'm like, why are they doing this? Please go be near people to the point where it's just been such a long round at this point that I just kind of have to like kill as soon as possible because I was apparently just very committed to doing a warlock kill. This is just another reason why I think like warlock kills tend to take longer. Anyway. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or, or, uh, I video ideas in, in the comments. Uh, this helps you. Talk to you later.